Um, the, the 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 Patriots were reported to put uh, their center, their starting center from last year, Brian Stork, on waivers for whatever reason. We didn't find out he wasn't on waivers. Uh, the Redskins have traded for him. Uh, we couldn't figure out what it was for. We found out it's a conditional pick. He then reportedly retired, and then reportedly the Redskins talked him out of retiring. He's got a history of concussions um, and some attitude problems. How weird of a story, how salacious a story is that for a, a backup center now getting released by a team? I couldn't believe how much hair that thing grew. Yeah, that uh, it escalated quickly, uh, as they say. Well, look, here's the thing. He's a, he's a good player. Um, the Redskins had issues at center, so I understand snooping around elsewhere, trying to find some help there. But then how the rest of the story sort of evolved, it, it got weirder and weirder. I, I think the problem is if you talk to someone out of retirement, it's clear that they still want to retire at some point, probably sooner rather than later. So even if you get him for a little bit, maybe he changes his mind in a week or a month, and then where are you? But uh, it's not a whole bunch to give up. You can make the argument that how, how often do seventh-rounders work out? Not very often, so maybe it's worth the risk. And in the scheme of things, especially with McLuhan now as opposed to pre-McLuhan, I think he you're, you're willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. That said, it's very weird from start to finish. And I'm not sure where we are in the story right now. The last I heard, he had been talked out of retirement, but I don't yeah. know if that has since changed. I believe that's where we are.